head off on our raw trip in a couple of days and we've come down to the farm to do a bit of work before we head south and we've decided we're going to go out and have a couple of long range shots with the gun because we've just sighted it in and check it before the raw and we've spotted a couple of goats up here at about 350 metres so I'm just going to line up and have a shot hopefully I can get it, give myself some confidence before the raw I'll just get lined up on him it's not a bad belly actually so have a shot Um, here's the goat I shot. It's not actually too bad a billy, so pretty happy with it. I don't think he'll be very good eating. He absolutely stinks. Not much of a goat meat eater, so prefer to do a, eat a nice young one, but we'll give him, he'll be good dog food or pig food or something. It's good to see the guns nice in sight, so pretty happy. Got a pretty nice shot on him right in the shoulder, so happy. We'll Set up for this big stag, hopefully now. So, the raw time of game, we've just headed down from the North Island and got to where we we're going to hunt at about 6 o'clock. So we're going to walk in to where we're staying. It's going to get dark, but it's all right. We know where we're going. So, And we're going to stay at a hut tonight and then we're going to head up and fly camping for a few days. And It's just me and Noah because Sam and Dad had to stay back and work and they're going to come back. They're going to come in when we go back. So have to take turns. It's a bit of a shame, but going to miss Pete's banter but oh well hopefully we can both get a deer each will be cool we'll get going for it it gets dark it's already about 7ish 7.30 probably and we've still got an hour or so to go so get going it's hot
Got up early this morning. We've managed to set up a bit of a camp here last night. It's not the best camp in the world, but we just slept under the fly, so it wasn't too bad. Um, we're going to head up back up to the main ridge this morning and glass into a new valley, so we'll get going before it gets light and hopefully we can see a stag. It's not foggy, yeah, but bit, bit windier, so shouldn't be, hopefully. for about an hour or so this morning and haven't spotted any deer so a bit disappointing but um, we'll keep moving on we think might have been hunted we seen a helicopter um, out in the area we're shooting yesterday which is a bit disappointing but wasn't in this area but I wonder if that's why we haven't seen many deer but we'll carry on anyway and get up this ridge and we've got enough gear to stay the night somewhere if we want to we're not too sure if we're going to or not might as well carry on class the next valley. Hopefully we can spot something there. Nice day though. Just had a bit of a break. It got a bit hot in the middle of the day, so we tried to find a bit of shade. Couldn't really find that much, but you yeah, had a bit of a lay down, and we're going to head into this valley where we've had, heard the stags roaring. We've seen one of them, and we're going to try and go up to where we heard the other one. And we might have to roar him out, or hopefully he comes out into the tops. But yeah, we'll see what happens anyway. He's 
fantastic faces in front of us and we're going to be able to have a look at them. It's going roaring pretty good, it's roaring at that other one we've seen this morning. It looks like it might be quite a long range shot, so hopefully no one can pull it off if he comes out. It's so hot and still. Um, been waiting for the stag for about probably a couple of hours now, he's still roaring. It's just the just on the edge of the bush, so hopefully he's going to come out and show himself soon. We'll wait for another until the sun goes down a bit, then we'll, we might try to roar him out because he, he should come out hopefully. He's pretty worked up. But this other one, so he probably thinks it's the other one coming over. But we'll just let you know what we're doing anyway. Hopefully he comes out, we'll do roar, give away our spot. ended up spotting that stag that was roaring below us and it's just a real young stag, probably only like three or something so we've just come down a little bit, set up camp, it's a pretty average camp but we'll do for tonight, we'll, we're pretty tired so we should sleep alright and tomorrow we'll head back up and we we'll, might try have a look at that big, I think it's a big 10 pointer, get a bit closer and see if he's worth shooting or not and maybe look into the next valley too so yeah. see you tomorrow. The boys waited the stag out for a few hours, but he went quiet and they never saw any sign of him and decided they had to pull out as their food supplies were getting low and head back to base camp. That stag walked into the bush, so we probably won't go down there because he's real far away and it's nothing amazing, but a bit disappointing. But we'll back up and keep heading back to camp. Like that. 
18 point away around. <laughs> on the board anyway. Yeah. Easy shot. Yeah, it was. It's from the game two, but it's just a 10 pointer. Right? Yeah, it's the same one we seen last year. Didn't it get much better. Much better right? It's not like it's going to be a 12 or anything. It's good to get on the board. Yeah. Don't. Pretty happy it's with that. It's my third red stag. And he's so hard to see there. Yeah, yeah he was obviously there the whole time. So what Ash goes to show you just raw, get in the area, yeah. get them angry. He I reckon we should just camp right here somewhere. He walked he, once. But yeah, that was pretty cool. It was cool. Seen him before and we were like, oh, we're going to camp down by him. So we'll go over and have a look and see what he looks like. And I was pretty happy with him, so that's all that matters. It's nothing amazing. But he's got pretty good, nice even head. It's not real old, but... No, it's not... But he's last year we left so many stags. Yeah. And we've seen this one, so it's, he hasn't grown any better a year on, so. Yeah, that's pretty I'm happy with my feet. had him shoulder. He was dead on his feet, eh? He was showing me. Yeah, he was almost a little bit happy. high maybe. He'll be happy we got one. Yeah. <laughs> well here's the stag I just got. We just got down to him. It's just got dark now. He's not it's not too bad. I'm pretty pretty stoked with him. It's my um, third red stag he's we seen him last year and he was about about this big. He's he's not real old but I'm pretty stoked with him. He's a ten oh, 11, if you can call that a point, eleven pointer. So I've got a meat too. Good. We'll be able to probably carry all, all of it out too because it's not too far back to the hut. Well, it's mostly downhill. It's got that meat safe, we can hang yeah. it in the tree and the whole deer carcass. No, we'll oh, just the butcher the back legs off, all the legs off, yeah. do it like that. Sweet. Cool, it's getting it's got dark. real curly points on it. Yeah. Do you want to take a photo of me? Well, that's our last full day today, and we've just packed up our camp, and we're going to head out to the hut tonight or the car park to stay. So um, it's been a pretty good trip. We've had really good weather and seen a few deer, heard a few roars. The roars sort of just kicking off now. So yeah, we'll just pack up and get going. Might see something on the way up. Yeah, could do. Bring the camera back out if we see something. Yeah. This was the end of the trip for the boys, but it was only the start of the trip for Dad and I, who had flown down from up north to have our own crack at a stag. We gathered information from the boys as to where the stags might be and where they thought we should head. The spirits were pretty high, we were pretty excited, so now it was just a case of getting in there and seeing what we could come out with. Well, we're just on our raw trip for 2019. Um, had a couple of days, of, well a day of really bad weather yesterday as we walked in so didn't do a lot of filming but um, it's cleared this afternoon and we've headed up onto the tops and uh, it's a bit of roaring already so might, there's one roaring down here we might pop down and see if we can't get a look at him and then if he's any good maybe take a shot. Pretty windy though so gonna have to close that gap to below 400 probably. Got yeah, mate Maddie with us. Down here. Right As you can hear in this video, it was pretty windy, but we could faintly hear a stag roaring further down in the valley, so we made our way down a little bit to see if we could hear him a bit better and get a look at him. It took a while, but finally we managed to spot him in a gap in the trees. It was just hard to tell how big he was. This was the best look we got, got at him. He was moving in amongst the trees and then he finally sat down in this patch, but he would only what give us see? one side of his head. He looked like he had reasonable timber and quite good points on this side that we could see, no, so we decided to try and have a crack at him. Because there's one straight down here. Yeah, yeah, I know there's one below us. Yeah, there is. If we go down towards this one and hope for a spot to shoot across, and if we don't get a shot, we just go after this one. Go after him tomorrow. Because he's 150 yards. I could hear sticks breaking before down the area. On our side? Yeah, just down there. Yeah, but we didn't know that one's the big one. Then we 
Might as well get moving. Yeah, okay. Let's get going. Could have shot him. If I get a shot. Okay. Ready? Yeah, it's like three stops. How much wind? There it is. He's hit hard. He's hit real hard. He's just, there he is, look. That was a mean hit. That was a good hit. Yep. He can't, surely he can't go far with that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. You're just so stressed after seeing a big animal like that that you're gonna, that you're gonna muff the shot. Oh. I aimed quite to the left. Good shot. He's only ever gonna go straight down from there, eh? Good stuff, bro. So we just gotta go down that, straight down that screw, yeah. Give it a roll and see if this one answers. Oh. If, any, oh. if anything, he's just hit a little bit far back. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good shot to me. I thought he was going to just drop right there because he just went down. He's not going to get out of that gut anyway. He's definitely, normally if they're not wounded, they'll go up, eh? He has a good decision today to do that, eh? Shit, you never know what's going to happen there. You, don't know, you never know, either. Hind could come and eat and they could Did you gone. get a good look at his antlers on the camera? We know he's a six on that one side and we only had enough time to... We decided we were going to shoot him, we were happy with him and hopefully he's even. It's the yeah, only he's thing. Good. Man, he's a beast of an animal. That was a, that was a cool hunt. It was a solid thumb, eh? Hey? He was just like, oh... It takes a while for the bullet to get there though, eh? Oh, it's so scary shooting. <laughs> so much pressure. She's just down here. <laughs> Man, he's found them for us. He's the best way to get to them. He's down in the heat, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, that's a beauty. Yep. He's got a lot of points, doesn't he? Still, still only like. Short, eh? Thought, yeah. he, thought he was short. 
It's got big strong points for it. There's three on this side, I can't see the other side. Where's it down? I'll drag them down to that little patch there. Whoa! Like it's quite old, eh? It's like a rooster, this one. Yeah, his, his horns are further down, eh? Look at the state he landed in. Smash Man. this tree down by the looks. Yeah. I'll just drag him to a bit of spot here for that. Yeah, we're stoked. A character trader. Still can't tell if he's 11 or a 12, but he's heavy and he's old and he's... Yeah, he's just lacking a bit of length, but he's pretty stoked with that. Beast. You got him? Yeah. He's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's our first 12 out of here. A shame he hasn't got another one like that here. Got four on this top and only two on this top. So he'd only score as a 10, I think. Yeah. But he's man, he's got some good timber there. Quite close to get these bottom ones, eh? Yeah. This fella's been here a while, eh? Had a crack at him last year, but he was too us. smart for us. Just the spot he's in. Impossible to oh, get it's to. It's going to be hard to get this out. My God, is it going to be hard. Here's our stag here. He's a beast of an animal. He's a 12, but he's only a 5 on this side and a 7 on that side with two littler ones here. He's not very long, but he's a pretty old beast and pretty thick timber and stoked with him. Stoked. Absolutely wrapped. We could only see this one, this side on the camera. I thought he was a 12. I couldn't see that extra one there. I thought he was a 12, but unfortunately he hasn't got the same tops up there, but I'm stoked with him anyway. He's a trophy for me. Oh, it's going to be fun to carry. <gasps> Alright, well we uh, just made it back to our packs. Wicked little hunt there. Get that nice stag, absolutely wrapped. Now we've got to lug our packs up to the top of this hill, get over the other side where there's a bit of water handy up, up quite high, and uh, yeah, set up a camp. Great first, first evening. Alright, well, uh, it's our first morning up on the tops today. We've got pretty, the, the weather's fined up, and now it's foggy, so hopefully it lifts off in the next hour or so. We're just going to make our way, pick our way up over into some sort of new country and see if we hear anything on the way and hopefully by the time we get there it's lifted and we can uh, find us a stag but she's pretty nippy this morning at least it's not raining though fogged out gotta get some photos of the sponsor's product Don't, he, he might just be he's got a stag Sitting still, but now it's cleared up a bit, and he's still roaring a bit. So he's down here somewhere. We haven't seen him. I think I know where he is. Though. <laughs> On that bastard. Holy shit. That's a 40 oh. something. Look how thick his timber is, man. Mate, that, oh, look at that top. Oh. Look at that top. That's the one from last year. He's still alive. He might be a 12 this year. Holy. Look at the beast. He's still weak on that one, the other side, a little bit. Not weak, but. 
That's a trophy. Okay, where can we shoot them from? Where we went last time. You can just shoot from, go down a little bit and shoot from that rocky bluff up to the right. Is that on? Fuck, that's a massive stack. Is there any way we can get them today? Oh, timber on them. Is there any oh, way we can get them today? From this side. That's day, second day up on the tops here. Foggy again, but definitely better than yesterday. A lot of blue sky above us. And when we were down a bit lower, we could see right down. There's just a blanket right down the bottom, and it should lift up. Looks like we're going to have a real nice day. We can hear a stack we saw yesterday down where we're going, so... Fingers crossed we can get into position because it's pretty tough. Even when we're down there, there's a high chance you could get away, but you got to chance your arm and you only get this is our last day of proper hunting, so we're going all out. There's another one roaring down here, but might have a crack at him on the way back if we don't get this one. It's not real heavy timber either. He's not. Don't reckon. He's like pretty better than as good as mine, but. We were in a good position to listen and wait and see what we could spot. And after about an hour, this guy wandered out. It was hard to tell if this was the stag that we'd seen the day before on the tiny little camera screen, but it didn't take us that long until we realised it wasn't. Our excitement levels plummeted, and we knew we had to keep waiting and see what we could spot. It's got quite good length, but... We spent the entire day glassing this scree, 
in the surrounding bush, but never spotted the big boy we were after. Until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, on the other side of the valley, way out of range, way out of stalking distance, we saw him. He was a whopper, and it was cool to see him a bit closer up. But there was just no way we were going to be able to get him today. It was bittersweet seeing him so close yet so far away once again. We were hoping we'd get him this year, but it wasn't to be. The day wasn't completely over though, as we had to make our way back to the camp. And on the way, we were going to have a look at the stag that we'd heard roaring earlier on in the day. We bid him farewell for this year and hoped for better luck next year and made our way back towards camp. As we crested the ridge to look down to where we'd heard the stag roaring earlier in the day, we spotted him and we were not disappointed. He's a shooter, all right. He's a shooter, all right. Okay, we just seen a pretty nice stag down here. Been going for it all day, looking for a particular stag, but he's managed to go somewhere else today, so it's quite disappointing. Then we were coming home, and we seen this one, so it's a bit of a long shot, but we're going to drop down here, and see what we can do. On the left hand side of the ridge, see where that green dark gut comes up. Are you good? It's the cleaner thing. Are you good? Get another one in him. He's pretty well hit though. Just there, Pete. Oh. Just give him another one. It's in the leg. Get him again. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> you hit him, I think, just a little bit low with that first one, but uh, you drilled him with the second one. Oh man, that was so frustrating. I've never seen someone make such a oh, I got cramp. Hash of getting I got cramp just in front, brother. <laughs> I got fucking shot, bro. That's I got mean. fucking cramp just under here. He's at least a twelve, oh. and he's missing. I think he might be missing bays, but and he's then, still a twelve. And then I thought he was on the top, and I kept looking on top. Oh yeah, let's get it. Fuck. That's a terrible test, actually. 
kind of here. Like. I like a rest where you not sit here and know that was that her. Let's go get your buddy. Give me right, Pete. Beast, man. <laughs> this is a beast. What a, I bet you're stoked with that, Pete. Holy that is a beast. smokes. That's, a, that's probably Fuck. a 40 inch or 12, 13 pointer by the looks. He's a fucking beauty. Oh, oh, oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a 15 pointer shot, Pete. That's a head skinner, what I reckon. Good one, Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> Fuck, that's a beast. Look at all the, the points up the top. Of the Look at the beast the animal he is. He's a Whoa, fucking trophy of a that's lifetime. That's a trophy of a lifetime, alright. Imagine if he had that one. 16 points. Holy fuck. 14. He scores as a 14, huh? It's yeah. legendary, Pete. Well, you, you, any of you guys could have got it. Fucking legendary, awesome. man. I'm so happy you got it, though. Yeah. So happy for Done you, man. That's yards, amazing. That is like. That is amazing. No, and Harry gonna be pissed they left this behind. Oh my goodness. That's once in a lifetime right there. Yeah. What do you reckon, Pete? It's the biggest stag we've ever seen, eh? It's like massive. Nice antlers. And he is like huge. That first shot was perfect. Look. He's got like primo. He's got like primo um habitat here, eh? Wow. This is this is like you dream of this finally happened. That's, that's a dream stag. Man. Yeah, you can you can retire as a trophy. How come we how come the we just how come how big is that other one though? Yeah, it was. How this one just didn't that? look as big as they throw back. Man, he's yeah. a whopper. Man, that okay, is that's a big. whopper. <laughs> that's big. Yeah, just nice timber. It's right in his prime. Real pretty. Real evenly heavy timber. Man, that's what you got. Oh, well, we've cut up the uh, cut the head skin off with the stag because we don't want to. We want to have the original for the trophy for the mount. It's going to be a mammoth mission. It's seven o'clock now. A hell hill to get up, but uh, we'll get up there. Take our time. Get home. Probably half an hour, an hour after dark. I reckon. Worth it though. Great hunt. All right, that's the end of our. Uh, raw for this year pretty happy with the results absolutely stoked managed to fluke a goodie now we've just got a howl walk out not looking forward to that with the head skin and meat and antlers and god we'll get there though take our time